say, well, I'm not going to be very long because we want to get out and give time for the uh, our 2 o'clock meeting. Now, I'm not cutting this every short because of that, but it's because of this message that I have. It may be longer than I think. Okay. Amen. Amen. It may be longer than I think. All right? But from the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4, and just the one verse there, Positive and 
negative examples all over the Bible. Amen? So if you want people to take right and wrong seriously, you've got to take right and wrong seriously when they're in your presence. Amen? And this is not a game, but this is not just talk. You got to walk this walk and you got to talk this talk. Amen? Amen. But God has given us examples to show us we can live righteous and godly lives. Amen? I want us to turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses that then I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to be almost finished. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 11. And I want to share this with you. He said, Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all of our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. In other words, they all, all say all, wow. all of them had a taste of God. Right. Woo! And did eat that same what? Spiritual meat. All of them experienced that. Amen? Right. And did all eat that spiritual meat and they did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drink of that spiritual rock that followed them and what? That rock was right. Right. Woo! All of them had a taste of Christ. Don't yeah. taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen? Yeah. What the Bible said, the Bible said. Right. The Bible said, but with it, but many, but with many of them, God was not true. For they were what? They were overthrown. Even though they experienced God's grace, even though they took of that spiritual meat, drank of that spiritual drink, they were overthrown how? Where? In the wilderness, that carcass was laid dead in the wilderness. Amen? Now these things were what? Go, go. 
God found in his mouth. Who, when he was reveled, he didn't revel again. When he suffered, he didn't threaten not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. Amen. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body. On the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes? You were, come on, dirt don't hurt. You were healed. That's past tense. Amen. God has already laid the foundation for you. God has already done it for you. When you're going through, God has already been through. Why are you trying to figure that God has already got it worked out? You got to learn how to live and let that example be inside of you. When folks are trying to figure that God already got it worked out. You can stop worrying about it when you turn it all over to God. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 But, but Matthew 5, 14 through 16 tells us this one thing. Amen. When you get there, when you get there. Amen. Matthew 5, 14 through 16 said, What you? Say you. you. You are the light of the world. A city, what? That set on a hill that cannot be hid. Because if you are that light, you're not... Neither do men light a candle and put it on a bushel. Amen. But on a candlestick and in giving light unto all that are in the house. Then God said, do what? Come on, somebody. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And when they see your good works, what they going to do? They going to glorify your Father which is in heaven. You ain't got to worry about thanking me. You got to thank God is in me. Amen. That's good. Oh, we want to tell folks things. We want to tell folks how good they are. But then if they do something wrong, they're the worst people in the world. Amen. But when you turn it all over to God and thank God, you're not giving praise to people. You're giving praise to God because it's God that is looking out for you. Amen. Amen. Christians, we are influencing people. Amen. One way or another. Amen. 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 We're influencing people one way or another. The world is judging Christianity by us. Amen. Said the world is, 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 is judging Christianity by who? By us. By us. Amen. Our lives testify of Christ. Yeah. And not only that, amen. As 1 Timothy 4 and 12 said, we got to show God in our conversation, in our speech. Amen. Because Matthew 12, 34 through 37 says what? You got that for me, Brother James? Can we get that for me? Matthew 12, 34 through 37. Amen. He said, Old generation of vipers, how can you be evil? Speak good things. Woo, Lord. For out of the abundance of the heart, woo, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. In other words, what comes out of your mouth reflects your thoughts, which shows what's in your heart. When you can't say nothing about God, that's what's in your heart. You telling folks about what you want and what you think and how you feel, what mama said, what daddy said, what they say. But you got to tell them what God said. Because out of the bottom of your heart, the mouth speaks. Amen. Are we all on the same page? So what comes out of your mouth reflects your thoughts and what's in your heart. Amen. But 1 Peter 1 and 15 in my last scripture is what God said to us. 1 Peter 1 15 says, Amen. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye what? Holy in all manner of what? Conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy. Because what? I am holy. So what the example that we ought to be showing folks is our holiness. Amen. Our holiness being just like God because he's holy. We're supposed to be holy. Amen. Amen. But, but some may, may, may make an internal, eternal decision just by watching you. And what you're saying, Pastor, I'm saying that that's the sermon that some folks, that's all they will ever hear. If they see Jesus in you, it doesn't matter where you are, they ought to be able to see Jesus in your life. Amen. You ought to be an example wherever you are. 
Because God has called us to be an example. He's called us to be holy because what? He is holy. He's calling us to be just like him. He was just like his father. Amen. He came down from his throne in glory. Amen. So that we could be holy and without blemish because why? He's coming back after church without a spot or wrinkle. Amen. So, 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 so I'm asking all of us. The only servant that somebody may experience is what they see in you. So be faithful to your calling. If God has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, Amen. be faithful to that calling. Amen. Let the world see Jesus. Amen. And they will make an eternal, eternal decision by watching who you are. When you when you being rebel, you don't have to rebel again. Amen. You don't have to do what other folks do. When they, when they see how you handle it, they gonna come up and ask, how you do that? That's a perfect time that you can say, it's Jesus on the inside of me. Lord, they did him that way. Because God said if they did it in the green tree, what's going to be done in the dry? Amen. If they did to him, they're going to do it to me. Those that are in Christ shall suffer persecution. And so when you're going through your trial and tribulation, trust him with it. Because if Jesus can't fix it, can't nobody fix it. If Jesus can't get it right, can't nobody get it right. And if you trust him enough, the Bible tells us that he will bring you out so you don't have to suffer. Like one day you're not going to have to suffer anymore. Because one day there will be no sickness no more. Why would there be no sickness? Because there's a tree over there.
But you got to come out of that corner. Because you can't hide. You belong to God. 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 You are God's child. You are God's child. Tell him to throw the dirt on him. Because I'm a seed. Jesus, just as I was. Oh, 